Are you really done it this time? Aren't you supposed to be out feeding the cows or something? Don't give me that smart talk. I just got off the phone with Donna. She's real worried you might be looking at federal penitentiary. She's a woman. You know how they exaggerate? Shut up. You've been lying to me all along about your connection with Calhoun, haven't you? Hell no. Mostly it's just like I told you. It's mostly that I'm worried about. I am not taking a fall for you and your dirty business. Ray, would you stop worrying? This is nothing but a pack of lies and innuendos. They'll never be able to prove anything. Oh, sure, they'll rattle their swords for a while, but then everything will get back to normal, believe me. I don't think so. Not from what Donna says. I just want you to know that you're on your own on this one. This is no time for us to argue about who did what. It's time for the Ewing brothers to unite, just like we always did. You know, stand shoulder to shoulder against the outsiders. Outsiders? <laughs> Isn't that a funny word for you? Isn't it amazing the way your affection for the family, especially me, seems to depend on how much trouble you think you're in? Well, you're up to your ears in it this time. As far as I'm concerned, you can go to hell in a handcart. Don't you get on your high horse with me, boy. Your piece of Ewing oil is at stake just as much as mine. You know, it might just be worth losing it to see you finally get what you deserve. 